Hey everyone, Zach here, and welcome to the overview for section 6 of this RTS tutorial series. In this section, what we'll be doing is we'll be shifting our code to a more object oriented approach and cleaning up some issues that have been found. So in the first video, for example, we'll be shifting to a more object oriented approach or object oriented programming for um, the player controller, which means we'll be reducing some of the functions, sorry, we'll be creating some functions coming off of our click events. We'll be organizing our variables, functions, and macros as well in the player controller. In this section, we will also update our vehicle UI to display which units are in the vehicle. We'll resolve the issue where units are being destroyed when they're put in a vehicle almost right away for some people or in cases like mine after five minutes of being in a vehicle. We'll also at this point update our unit selection within the units themselves to a more object oriented uh, programming approach. We'll make it impossible to select invisible units and we'll be updating the move to vehicle code for units. In addition to this, we'll also fix the, um, we'll also set it up so it's a little bit different in the move to buildings as well. There's a little bit that we're gonna tie together with that um, object oriented programming approach. And finally, we're gonna fix the unit birthday issue. If there are other issues from the earlier sections that I have not listed or not have talked about resolving, please let me know in the comments below. It's important, you know, in terms of quality assurance and game testing it, you know, you guys let me know these things. So I'm going to miss stuff. And that's just because I'm not playing around with it the way you guys are. I'm thinking about the features that I've intended and how I intended to use them. So I'm going to miss some of these things. If there are things that I haven't spotted out, you need to let me know. And very briefly, section seven will combine all three of the core components, actually four of the core components. So that's going to be time, resources, buildings, and units. So we're going to have units harvest resources. So they're going to go out, collect, and return those resources. We're going to have um, a max resource setup where the silo increases how much resources a player is allowed to hold. Um, and if they don't have that, units will drop any excess resources they've harvested. And then we'll create buildings that generate resources. And we'll also have buildings that train units or generate units. Uh, so we'll have a third resource. We'll have training time. We'll have uh, a HUD for our, you know the units that are being trained and all that stuff as well. Or an update to the building UI for units that are being trained. That said, congratulations on making it this far. I look forward to seeing you in the rest of the series. And I hope that you have a wonderful day.